Okay, guys, uh, Dave back, G7IYK. So the LMB will drift. It's, clo it's open loop. And it changes with temperature and various other factors and just natural drift of its internal sort of electronics. It won't be completely stable. We could stabilize it using, say, a GPS lock. Uh, but I've uh, at the moment chosen to stabilize it using uh, a feature in SDR console called uh, geostationary beacon tracking. Um, and it's pretty easy to set up once you kind of like all these things, once you kind of know where it is. So to set it up, so we're we're at 10489750ish which is our beacon. So if we go to view and then over here on the right hand side we got a thing called we got a button called select and we got a whole bunch of things we can select one of which is geostationary beacon. So you click that and hit okay and then it says you must start the program to select these entries. Okay, well words to that effect. So yeah, let's restart now. So the program shuts itself down and reinvokes re itself automatically. It's pretty slick. So up it comes, right? And there's the SDR. And there's, the, we, we want the converter that we defined earlier in the previous video. So let's hit start. And there is the beacon. Okay. So if we go back, so nothing appears to have changed. So if we go back to view, now what has appeared is this geostationary beacon here has appeared because we selected it, remember? We told it we wanted to use that, so it's appeared as an extra feature. So if we click that, here, now this dock it, because it's kind of floating in the middle of the screen. So if you grab it from the top, there's this little thing appears in the in the middle, and you could, that tells you where it's about to dock, top, right, left, down. Let's dock it at the bottom. Now here's the beacon. Here's the big. Now we can we can turn this beat. This is the tracking system. So we can turn this on and off. Obviously, that's what, just what it says on the tin. It turns on and off. So let's obviously turn it on. And if we stick this over the top of the beacon, and then enable, it will track the beacon. You might need to give it a little bit of help to start with, uh, but it will track the beacon. So there. Mm -mm, not tracking the beacon. Ah, it's got it. Right. It it, it, it takes a little some occasion it takes a while to lock on. Um but it it's got it now. So we can see it's it's locked to the beacon. So um so what's gonna happen is this is this is the PSK beacon uh sitting and you can zoom in and zoom out on that. Now, if for some reason you don't see the PSK beacon in this window, because this window's only got a certain amount of bandwidth, it's looking over. The reason you won't, you're not seeing it in this window is because you've got your calculation wrong. You've got the, you've got the converter calculation wrong, and it's too far out, and the beacon's actually dropped off the edge of this window. So just recalculate your, um, your converter. But we're pretty much you know we're we're pretty good here because this is sitting roughly in the center of this window so that that's kind of that's cool and it's it's tracking it so I mean, you can see that if you pull it off frequency a little bit you watch it will track back and hopefully now it's got the hang of it it'll lock if you pull it pull it the other side it'll see it tracks left and hopefully now it's um now it's sort of the loops closed and it's it, there it's stabilized and locked so that's that's good so what does that mean in real terms well that means in real terms if we now look if we move our window if we look at where the center of this beacon is now sitting it is pretty much pretty much about 10 4 8 9 7 50 is there ish so that beacon is almost exactly where we expect it to be and the, but the most important thing is that as the lmb drifts or if the lmb drifts um it it will it, it, the, the the software will 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 track that drift and and everything will remain stable because if you go down here to this these three little dots Geostationary beacon configuration 10489750. So the software knows where the beacon's supposed to be, and you've just told it where it is. So it will then it will then track that. So if you're listening to somebody with this tracking system switched on and their their voice is drifting, 
you know, they're becoming deep, you know, dip deeper in voice or Mickey Mouse in voice. That's not due to your receive drift. That's due to their transmit drift because your receive drift is now beacon locked. So um, any drift you experience or any anything you any drift you hear on the receive will not be down to the receive your receive. It will be down to their transmit drift. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you basically set up the beacon tracking on SDR console. It's a very powerful feature and uh, and it seems to work really well. I normally, I mean, once you've got it running, you don't kind of need to see it. So I just kind of drag this down. So I know it's running. I can see that it's locked on because sometimes when you invoke it after a while, you you might need to just click in the middle of this beacon to, to you know, because it, it won't lock onto the beacon if you're all miles over here. You have to actually be in the vicinity of the beacon for it to for the tracking to work. So. Uh, when, when you first invoke the software and, and turn the tracking on, you you get you might have to click in the center here. So anyway, that's um, that's it. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.